it's hard to have a conversation with a friend saying, I'm really mad about this. I didn't like this. And when I was younger, I would avoid these conversations at all costs in my relationship or with my friends. I didn't want to stir up problems. I didn't want to deal with the confrontation and not dealing with these issues is actually very harmful to myself and to the friendship. When I'm in a friendship with someone who doesn't tell me when they're angry with me, then they just secretly hate me and that's not fair to them or fair to me. And it's really a lack of courage. Um, I have a friend now who, or actually a lot of friends now who do tell me when they're mad at me or when they don't like something. And as unpleasant as it is, because I don't like the confrontation, it actually brings us closer. It helps me learn how to deal with things and it ensures that I'm not running around resentful at life with myself or with, um, I'm in relationships with people who hate me. Uh, being in relationships with people who don't speak up because they're people pleasers, they're afraid of confrontation, they're just angry silently. And that's not fair to me. Um, these are really uncomfortable things, but I think they're super, super important that we have to be willing to say, I didn't like this. We have to be willing for the other person to get mad, walk away, or leave the friendship. And sometimes people do leave the friendship. Sometimes it brings up, it's difficult. Sometimes people will fight, but that's normal. It's not unhealthy. There's nothing wrong with getting in an argument. Everybody gets triggered. I hate getting triggered. Do you? <laughs> but I just want to say it's worse to be in friendships with people and not say, I don't like this. We have to be able to say, I don't like this. You know, so this is an invitation for you maybe today to think about things that you allow. And for a long time, you know, I'm still finding things out now that I've allowed that I didn't like. I'm still every day finding out things that I've allowed that I didn't like because I was raised that I had to be okay with things. Like it was just, I had just blind spots. They call it programming. Programming is really just how we go through life with these blind spots. We think that's how we have to be. We're just naturally this way. Not realizing there are other ways to be. Maybe there were bad experiences in the past. I mean, how many of us were ever as kids asked what we thought or what we wanted? We don't have practicing. I don't like this and having someone say, I'm so glad you told me that. Um, parents can be very dominating and controlling. I mean, at least they try to tell us what to do. Even though my parents loved me, they had their rules, what I had to do. And the teachers had their rules. In Germany, in class, you're not allowed to just blurt out the answer. You have to raise your hand. You have to raise your hand. When you raise your hand, your, 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 your pointer finger has to be like this, straight up. And then the teacher calls on you. <laughs> it's a very rule-based. But just to say, uh, it's just more and more, the more I come in, the more I start saying, I don't like this, the more I kind of reconnect with myself, if that makes sense. And people respond very positively. They actually want to know what I like and don't like. That's been the biggest mindfuck of all. It's like, oh, really? Like, that's okay? Somehow I thought it wasn't okay, but it is. So you're, you're allowed to have preferences that are different from other people's and you're allowed to communicate them? Yes. That's my opinion. <laughs> it's, um, especially in the dynamic of men and women, and especially when I make these videos, you know, some of my videos sound I'm very angry, but part of it, honestly, you guys, is I'm guarded for the trolls. A lot of the videos I make, I'm making for the trolls. <laughs> like, you're ineffective, back off. Instead of speaking to the men that are actually, I'm, I'm guarded a lot of times when I make the videos because I'm talking to just anyone. It could be trolls, haters, so many nasty men on here. And uh, so I'm guarded. Whereas in real life, when I'm not guarded, I'm a lot more sweeter and more in touch with what I really like. 
So I was like, how can I start making videos? I've been thinking about this lately that is more oriented towards talking to women and talking to the good men without being so guarded and feeling like I have to push the bad men away. That's kind of been a challenge for me because when I speak, no matter who I speak to, I'm always thinking I got to be guarded against these idiots, these trolls. So I'm a little bit um, guarded, I think, in a lot of my videos, to be honest. Um, whereas in the members area, I'm a little bit more relaxed because it feels safer to me, actually. Just some musings of the day. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day and thank you for watching my video. Oh, by the way, this little top is from Aritzia. Aritzia, love their clothes. Um, but I'm not doing any more shopping anymore because I don't need any more clothes. I'm saving my money because we're getting, gonna go into a recession. I wanna be ready. No more shopping for me. I don't shop anymore. <laughs>